Okay, so today I'm doing another smaller house. I'm calling this uh, Havencrest Home. I don't know why, it just, it just kind of occurred to me. Um, so this wasn't really inspired from anything. I, I just wanted to do like a smaller house where I kind of played with the roofing tool in a way that I haven't before. Uh, so I did that by doing kind of like an attic slash loft space upstairs. Uh, whenever I build a house, I like to picture who's going to be living there so that I can give it a certain kind of like personality and character. So in my mind, I pictured a younger uh, single female sim living here and she's like creative and she likes to garden, uh, maybe she likes to write, uh, she works from home doing all those things and that's kind of what I pictured. She's also kind of trendy and um, kind of likes uh, fancier things. Um, but but still kind of on a budget. So she's gonna be living in this smaller house. I don't actually end up making this sim. I'm talking about her like she's an actual sim. She's not. I just uh, this is just who I was picturing in my head the whole time I was doing the build. Um, so yeah, she's kind of on a budget. So it's not an expensive house. I think it works out to be like eighty six thousand. I mean that that is a lot. I think, but um, it's no starter. That's for sure. But the stuff in the house is obviously um, more expensive than it needs to be. So yeah, she's got this little house. It's technically a one bedroom. It's got one bedroom, a bathroom, and then the um, loft area upstairs, which I just made uh, like a creative space for her. And so I kind of had a color scheme in mind. I wanted the white with a little bit of the brown tones. So you'll see the brown in like the staircases and the door. And I, I think that's kind of it. I pictured this being um, a historic home. So it's like, it was built quite a while ago. And there are a few features in the house that still um, kind of have that um, historic charm. Like the chimney um, is, looks pretty, kind of older. It looks like it's been painted over brick, but it still has an older look. And then there's a few walls in the house that also have that same brick color. And I pictured them being in the original house and they were just kind of kept there and painted over with like white or whatever color that is. <laughs> Um, so that's what I did. I was playing around with the windows trying to get them to go on the side of the house But they wouldn't go because there's no rooms on the other side. The, lo um, the attic is in the middle of the house So I couldn't put any windows up there um, So I, I just had to skip that. I think I put like a half moon uh, Window at the top of the house. I can't quite remember but that was really all I could do with that and just uh, place some more windows along the sides of the house. It's a pretty little house, but um, I think, oh no I didn't. Um, in my builds lately I've been cutting out the part where I do the floor plan. I can't remember if I do it in this house or not. Um, it's just that it takes me so long and if I feel like I'm being rushed while I'm recording, um, I'm not really producing like the, my best work I guess. So what I've been thinking about doing lately is if I find it to be particularly difficult, I can just cut that part out and not show the part about me like doing the floor plan. I know it's not very fun to skip parts, but um, I want to be able to still um, make it look good and, and not have to rush through it just because I'm recording. So I, I don't remember what I ended up doing here, but you will probably see that in my future builds. I just did a modern home where I skipped a lot of the floor plan and a lot of like even the backyard and I skipped a few things because it was taking me such a long time and I was okay with it is the thing. Like I'm okay with taking a while, um, especially if I want it to be you know, some of my best work. But I, yeah, I don't always want to put it in the video because it just, it's just too long and it must be really boring to watch. Um, so I did a little backyard here. I love that fence. It's my favorite fence in the whole game, I think, that taller uh, white fence. So I just did a little backyard here. I pictured the girl living here being into gardening, so there is a greenhouse back there as well. Um, we don't do that until a bit later, though. Um, so yeah, there's uh, the bedroom and the bathroom at the back of the house. Um, I thought about putting the kitchen at the back right there where I'm doing it now, but it didn't really work with the staircase very well. I didn't want it to be like clipping in or looking weird and you know like to walk up the, the stairs and have like the back of the fridge be against the staircase I find just really weird uh, and not realistic like you couldn't plug your fridge in there. So I don't know, I, I thought that was kind of weird. So I put it on the other side. Um, I used a lot of whites and creams and pinks and lighter tones for this house because you know it is a it's kind of got more of a female energy because um, it is just one um, single female sim living here and I pictured her being into uh, 
yeah, some kind of more feminine colors. And in this kitchen I did that um, sort of backsplash. I've been really into doing um, tile backsplashes lately in my uh, builds because I think it just adds a bit of realism to it. It looks a lot better when you've got some kind of, um, I don't know, it, it looks more finished when you've got something behind the counters, not just paint. So I did that backsplash, um, I think it's the tiles from Jungle Adventure. And I also used the cutting board for the first time, the one you put up against the wall. That is an idea I got from watching Simlissy's videos, I've been watching a lot of her videos lately. And it puts me in a building mood for sure, uh, even though sometimes it kind of actually depletes my building energy because I'm like, wow, I could never be that good, I, why even bother? I honestly feel that way sometimes watching her videos, so it doesn't always put me in a creative mindset, uh, mindset but uh, lately it has been, so that's um, that's what I've been doing. And so yeah, the kitchen is um, is like a really small little area, but I, I guess most of the house is small anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. And I decided to try something new over here. Uh, lately I've just been putting in dining room tables all the time, and which is pretty normal, I mean that's kind of what every house has. But for this one I thought I would use these island countertops and put them up against a wall with some bar stools and then a little bay window there. I thought that, um, I don't know, just something different to do in a build, and so I decided to go with that. Um, I tried a bunch of different windows before I settled on that one. I just like the look of it. And uh, just tried to fill in some spaces around. I don't really know what I end up putting there. Uh, it just looks like a really empty space. I, I did like the idea of the wine rack, but then I thought, no, nah, it's too big for this house. Like that wine rack just right there, it just doesn't work. Uh, also been playing around with um, like moving countertops and tables out from underneath the decorations and then putting them together and then putting the table back because you can't just you can't just put whatever you want on a countertop it'll snap to where it wants to go so that's kind of like a little cheat for uh, doing what you want in those spaces um, and I've been doing a lot of that lately before I was just I've always known about that little cheat but I've just been too lazy to do it <laughs> but in this build um, it's a smaller house, it's kind of a little bit cluttery in a good way, so I wanted to uh, do that in more of the spaces. And I did it here again on this little table against a staircase. Um, just put, piled like books and stuff on top of that and then put the table, you just slide it back under and it all looks good. And uh, sometimes you'll go into the screenshots and notice that it's hovering and it doesn't look good. And that's often what happens <laughs> when I play around with stuff like this, but I mean it's fine, you can fix it. See, so yeah, I just put some cluttery items, some like cookbooks and some flowers and um, a little picture in a frame on that little table. And that was pretty much it for the kitchen and dining area. I do end up taking that flower wreath out because when I went to take the screenshots, it was clipping into the roof or the ceiling and it just didn't look good anyway. So I had no problem getting rid of that. Um, she does have some very nice uh, living room furniture. Those, uh, the couches and the chairs are quite expensive. Um, so I got those fancier ones. I do wish that the game had decorative pillows that we could place onto the couches or beds because I think that would just add another, um, I don't know, it would just look really nice if we could have decorative pillows. I mean that couch does come with two but they're very flat and they're like pushed against the back. It just doesn't look that good. Um, so this space I tried to make it look very, um, again, very feminine, a lot of whites and creams and I put in a lot of candles and um, uh, plants and just uh, like tried to make it like a soft uh, zen area so uh, that's what I did. I actually ended up loving this living room. Um, I think I even put it in the thumbnail for the video because it just looks like a really nice living room, a place that I would love to hang out. I wish my living room could look like this. If I could just design my house however I wanted, this is definitely the type of living room I'd want. I like um, the lighter colors and the whites and I just love that flower there too. I made sure to pay, uh, well I think I think I went a little overboard, but in this video I paid extra attention to all the little details. Um, obviously me messing around with these candles for literally 20 minutes was just a little bit much, but <laughs> I don't know, I wanted this to be some of my best work and I, I always feel like um, I shouldn't cut corners just because, just for the sake of recording. Like I, I, I think that if something's going to take a while I should just cut it out or stop recording and come back later because yeah, I don't want to get lazy with anything, and I still wanted to produce a really good build. Uh, I just really didn't want, I didn't want to, um, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't want to skip out on the details just for the sake of the video, so there, I still included them in there. It still takes a while to get through it, but I still think it, it works out pretty well. Um, I have been doing that a lot lately in my builds. Um, 
In uh, Urban Sims video, she released a video a few days ago. It was like her farmhouse fixer upper, and she spent pretty much the whole video talking about her issues with anxiety, which I think was a really good thing for her to talk about. I don't think people talk about that kind of thing enough, and it's something that I have only recently been struggling with. I never really had problems with it before, but lately it's been pretty um, intense. And so I've been finding that my the best way to kind of escape those feelings is to play The Sims, and I know that's ridiculous, because but it's literally an escape from reality, and I find that when I'm building, I'm able to kind of put those feelings away, and I feel a lot more relaxed and focused, and sometimes I put all that energy into these little details, because it's the one thing that I can control, and I, I have complete control over that, so I do feel better about focusing on the details. Sometimes it's a little much, um, especially like when I was playing around with those candles and stuff, like, it's just a little bit much, but I, I am feeling these um, kind of new feelings of anxiety lately and been trying to figure out ways to deal with it. And I don't know if it's super healthy or not, uh, but The Sims is definitely the best way to deal with it for me. Um, also, watching other people's Let's Plays is really, or just speed builds or whatever, just other um, YouTubers. I've been watching a lot of videos lately. I mean, I always have, but it's really helped to um, kind of calm me down. And I think that <laughs> it's always going to have been like that. I used to listen to the Sim Supplies videos all the time when I felt like this, and it, um, I found it very helpful. He has a very calming voice. I don't know why. Um, he's like one of those Australians that, that doesn't yell at you, and I mean, not that they all do, but a lot of them do, and, you're, and it's very intense, but I find his, video, his uh, voice to be very calming and relaxing. So that's kind of another way that I kind of deal with this, but I thought Urban Sims video was really good, and it was... It was nice to hear someone else talk about their issues so you know that you're not the only one. And she kept saying like, it's normal to feel this way and you know, like she was just trying to kind of say that there's nothing wrong with anyone who has anxiety but I feel like so many people have it now anyways that, um, you know, that it's not super uncommon and it's not weird at all. So I, I thought that was a really good video that she put out. And uh, lately I've been able to relate to that so that's why I've been spending so much time building. I think that a really good escape. I think I do a build pretty much every single day. Um, during the day I record my Let's Plays because nobody's home and then um, during the evenings I just um, do speed builds basically. I make my build and sometimes it takes me uh, like an hour to build a house, sometimes it takes me like four. Uh, it just depends on what mood I'm in and if I'm really in the mood to pay attention to all the little details. And for this build I was. so. It did take a long time. This is sped up, I think, 600. Uh, I can't remember if it's six or seven times, but um, yeah, it's, it's sped up quite a bit, more than normal for my other videos because uh, I usually don't mess around with the details as much. But it felt good to be able to put all of my energy into this. And uh, yeah, so the bedroom is just a very uh, relaxing environment. I use a lot of softer tones. Um, I just put some little clutter items under the dresser. I put like a pack of like a box of wrapped gifts and um, yeah, a little teddy bear on that chair there. And I think I ended up painting this room. I hope I did because I don't really like the color right now. Oh good, yeah, I am. Okay, good. And uh, the, the back wall of the bedroom also has that brick as well. So there's a couple of areas of the house that have that original brick wall. And I could just see someone taking like a a paint roller and just rolling right over it with white paint and the bathroom has it as well uh, I just think it has a, it's got some uh, historic charm that I like uh, so the bathroom I just um, put in like some pretty basic stuff the shower tub combo toilet um, I really like that sink with that bowl uh, it looks really good so I put that in and just a couple more details like the um, cabinet above the toilet the candles um, some curtains and I think I even put in some like wall lights and a painting I'm pretty sure and probably a bath mat yeah there we go if, if I know me and I think I do then yeah I put a bath mat in and I really like those wall lights um, they're a little bit too big though in their original size so I do size them down just a little bit but I'm a big fan of them they have a really nice soft like tone they're not too bright like that light that I was just using so I, I have been using them a lot lately and uh, I think they look really good. So that's pretty much it for the bathroom, just playing around, around with the lights. It took me a while. I settled on that one above the mirror, even though it didn't have very much intensity, it barely made a difference. Also, looking at this now, that couch in front of the end, that table, 
Um, this couch is not play or this house is not player tested because I didn't think it would need it, but I'm not too sure if your sim could get around that one chair there. So um, I don't know. I, I should have checked that, but I didn't, I didn't notice that until just now. Um, so going up into the attic area, um, I pictured just putting a whole this just a creative space, just putting a whole bunch of um, kind of creative outlets. So I put like a computer desk. Um, I was going to do like an L-shaped desk and then I scrapped that idea, I didn't really like it, so put a computer desk and um, just a lamp there and I think I put like a bulletin board behind it. Um, I, I don't know, I just picture the woman living here being um, interested in all types of different creative things um, and writing being one of them, so that's why the computer is there and a little calendar as well. And then the corner there, I think I just filled it up with bookshelves, I did like a little reading nook kind of area. and. Um, I know that the bookshelf clips into the walls there, you can see the paint behind the bookshelf. That was the look I was kind of going for though, like I wanted them to look like, uh, I don't know, not so wide, or not so thick I guess. So yeah, they do clip to the wall, but that was kind of the idea that I had for it anyway, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, and then I just put in like an easel there, and that, um, well, that's, it's technically a rug, but to me it's a piece of plastic with some paint splashes on it. Uh, so I put that in the corner because I pictured her uh, like wanting to paint, and um, just I looked at like everything there was in, in the um, activities and skills tab because I feel like there's just so much to do. I ended up putting a woodworking table there. Um, I was going to do the flower, flower arranging table, uh, but that went into the greenhouse, so I didn't really feel the need to do it. I uh, just put some plants in around there and uh, just a few more clutter items. I don't think I kept those presents up there. I was gonna put a Christmas tree in the corner like to make it look like storage, but the Christmas trees are so big and they're actually like set up with lights and that's not typically how people store them. So I decided to just scrap that. Um, I just did like a little reading area with a chair and a rug and a lamp, which I thought looked really inviting. Uh, as someone who loves to read, I would very much like to read in that space. Uh, and also put in like a guitar there and a little shelf um, that went with the easel and uh, just some more cluttery items around because it is, I mean, people use attics for um, storage a lot so I did put some more storage type items up there and um, I don't know why I put that clothing rack there but and then just finish, finish it off with a rug and uh, I think I'm going to the backyard now so I pictured having the backyard be, um, look like it's quite small but I just wanted it to be mainly like a greenhouse with um, a little bit of space just to hang out in the backyard. Nothing too elaborate. Um, the stairs there go to the front and the back. That wasn't part of my original um, idea, but I thought it just kind of worked, so I kept it. Uh, put in a barbecue there, a little wreath, and um, some tables and chairs. And then the greenhouse, I pictured it having like a rounded roof, so I did that. And some windows just to make it uh, completely <laughs> Uh, I don't know, have that greenhouse effect. And then I also, um, for some reason, I didn't want to put a door there. And I just kept it like that. Uh, I do end up changing it, but looking at it now, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm glad you changed that. It looks really weird. So I did get rid of that and put in an actual door there. Um, I wanted a door that went all the way to the top, though, and I didn't think there was any um, that would be like flush with the windows. I did find one, though. And then, uh, so I put in some shelves, the flower arranging table, uh, some planters, and um, also like just some tables for flowers to go onto. Um, I was just trying new things, like I was looking at the wedding arch, just thinking like, could I make like a little arch for the doorway? But it looked too wedding-y, so it didn't look good there. Uh, so I just loaded the shelf with like the, that florist kit, um, some books, like that random craft. <laughs> I don't know, it's flowers, so I guess it kind of suits. And uh, yeah, just whatever I could fit on there. Um, some more little plants. I feel like greenhouses can be very cluttery, and that's kind of what I was going for here. Um, I could have put more clutter, I think, but as you can see, I was struggling so much with that plant that I was like, okay, no, I'm done. <laughs> I just added a couple more things, and I didn't want to keep going with it. It was just too frustrating. So I just loaded up those tables with some more stuff, um, as many plants as I could, and then um, I put the little uh, the sun. Um, what is that, like a wall decal kind of thing, on the greenhouse. And what else did I do in the backyard? I added a tree and it had like, I think I put like a little, yeah, a bird bath and a bird house. And um, I wanted to use Patchy the Scarecrow because I've never used it before. Um, 
To be honest, it does freak me out. I have a fear of mascots. <laughs> so dumb. I, uh, I have a fear of mascots, and so whenever I'm playing my game and the flower bunny comes around, I, I just, I panic. And the thought of Patchy coming to life makes me really uncomfortable, so... <laughs> I'm actually being serious, so, like, it sounds funny, but I'm being serious. Um, so I don't really interact with him much, I never have, I don't even, um, place him in any, on any of my lots because I don't want him coming to life, I want him to stay where he is, and I don't know how that works enough to know if he will come to life, but if he does, it'll freak me out so bad, so I just decided to put it in this build because I probably won't live in this house anytime soon, I mean, eventually my plan is to use all of my builds if I can, but... I decided to put him in this one because I'm not going to be living here, so he can do what he wants. Uh, so I put Patchy in there with some sunflowers, a couple more planters, and just added some bushes around uh, to make it look a little, um, I don't know, a little more lived in, and a little bench there. And I also put some lights at the back of the deck, but I'm still not sold if I like them or not. Uh, it's the one thing that I'm, to I'm not totally sure about in this build, uh, but I did. I kept them there anyway. Uh, if you download this house on the gallery, they're going to be there. Uh, you can just take them out though if you don't like them, and that's kind of how I feel. I might just take them out if I ever use this house. Um, so I just put in some little outdoor lights on the back and the front of the house, and uh, I think I just added some bushes there. It just didn't look right having it um, so bare, so I moved the foundation down, um, put the put the bushes around, moved it back up, and um, I think that was pretty much all I did there. I do think I put a chair and some potted plants on the front deck. Um, and I think that was really all I did. Uh, just some more like trees and bushes and shrubbery and just stuff to make the, um, the landscaping look good and to make it look a little bit more realistic. I also like to, I've been like, wanting to, um, wanting to, I have been, um, using the terrain uh, coloring tool like just what I'm doing there to kind of make it look just a little bit more realistic um, with like the dirt or the uneven color of grass. Uh, so there's the, the chair and the potted plants. And I think that was really all I did um, on the outside. I just did a few more details, and then we'll be heading into the screenshots. I'm still working towards 100 subs so I can make a video um, of me telling my husband about my YouTube channel. He still doesn't know, it's still my little secret, which in a way I kind of like, but at the same time, it'd be fun to share this with him. So please subscribe so we can make a video about that, because I think it'd be really funny. Anyways, thanks for watching.